10 Foods That Cause Diabetes Have you ever wondered if your daily food choices could be influencing the risk of diabetes? Are the snacks in your pantry potential culprits? Could your favorite meal play a role in the diabetes dilemma? According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, several risk factors can increase the likelihood of developing type 2 diabetes, with one of them being the food we eat. Type 2 diabetes is a health condition where the body encounters difficulties in using sugar, also called glucose, as its main energy source. This results in elevated levels of sugar in the blood, leading to potential health issues. In type 2 diabetes, the pancreas can't produce enough insulin, a hormone that helps sugar enter cells for energy. This chronic condition results in an excess of sugar circulating in the bloodstream, eventually contributing to complications within the circulatory, nervous and immune systems. Regrettably, there is no outright cure for type 2 diabetes. However, adopting a healthy lifestyle that includes weight management, nutritious eating habits and regular exercise can effectively assist in disease management. Consuming certain foods and drinks can raise a person's risk of developing diabetes. Eliminating these dietary habits can lower the likelihood of developing type 2 diabetes later in life. The choices you make in terms of food and beverages can significantly influence your glucose levels, which your body utilizes as a source of energy. The insulin produced by your pancreas plays a pivotal role in facilitating the utilization of glucose for energy by transporting it into your cells. Now, the question arises, what food should you steer clear of? Let's now check out the top 10 foods that should be avoided for better diabetes management. But before we continue, we'd like you to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our amazing and entertaining content. Sweetened drinks Sweetened drinks impact blood sugar levels due to the high sugar content they contain. Just like carbohydrates, sugar-sweetened drinks have a high glycemic index and may increase a person's risk of type 2 diabetes. When you consume sweetened beverages, the sugars are rapidly absorbed into the bloodstream, leading to a swift increase in blood glucose levels. Drinks like sodas, processed fruit juices, flavored coffee drinks, iced tea with sweeteners, energy drinks, lemonades, and sweetened beverages, sports drinks, and alcohol can all contribute to rapid spikes in blood sugar levels, leading to type 2 diabetes. The sugars in sweetened drinks, such as sucrose or high fructose corn syrup, are quickly broken down into glucose and fructose during digestion. Once broken down, the glucose is rapidly absorbed into the bloodstream, causing a sudden spike in blood sugar levels. Consistent consumption of sweetened drinks, especially for those with diabetes, can contribute to prolonged elevated blood sugar levels increasing the risk of complications such as insulin resistance, weight gain, and cardiovascular issues. To maintain stable blood sugar levels, it's crucial for individuals, especially those with diabetes, to choose beverages with little or no added sugars. Opting for water, herbal tea, or unsweetened alternatives can help support better blood glucose control. Potatoes Potatoes, while a popular and versatile food, can potentially increase the risk of type 2 diabetes. Potatoes have a high glycemic index, the GI, indicating how quickly they cause blood sugar to rise after consumption. High GI foods can lead to rapid spikes in blood sugar. Potatoes are rich in starch which is quickly converted into glucose during digestion. This rapid conversion can contribute to elevated blood sugar levels. 
While potatoes do contain some fiber, particularly in the skin, the overall fiber content is often insufficient. Fiber helps slow down the absorption of sugars, but low fiber potatoes may not provide this benefit. Frequent consumption of high GI foods like potatoes may contribute to insulin resistance, where cells become less responsive to insulin, leading to higher blood sugar levels. It's also worth noting that the carbohydrates in potatoes are predominantly simple carbohydrates, which can cause a faster and larger increase in blood sugar compared to more complex carbohydrates. While potatoes provide some vitamins and minerals, they are not as nutrient dense as other vegetables, potentially leading to imbalances in overall nutrition. Considering these factors, it's essential to consume potatoes in moderation, opt for cooking methods that retain more nutrients, and incorporate a variety of nutrient dense foods into the diet to mitigate potential risks associated with the development of type 2 diabetes. White rice. White rice, a staple in many Asian countries, can potentially increase the risk of type 2 diabetes as it has a high glycemic index, which can lead to a rapid spike in blood sugar levels after consumption. The starch in white rice is quickly converted into glucose during digestion, contributing to elevated blood sugar levels. Usually, white rice is stripped from its outer layers, removing much of its fiber content. Fiber helps slow down the absorption of sugars, and the lack of it in white rice can lead to quicker spikes in blood glucose. White rice consists mainly of simple carbohydrates which can lead to faster and larger increases in blood sugar compared to complex carbohydrates. One study showed an 11% increase in diabetes risk with each daily serving of white rice. If you love rice with your stir fries, switch to brown rice. You can also opt for whole grains, which include brown rice, as well as quinoa and barley. These contain more fiber and have a lower glycemic index. Additionally, practicing portion control and incorporating a variety of nutrient-dense foods into the diet can contribute to overall health and diabetes prevention. Your blood sugar will thank you. High sugar breakfast cereals. High sugar breakfast cereals such as frosted flakes, fruity pebbles, cocoa puffs, Honey Smacks, Apple Jacks, and Corn Pops are classic examples of breakfast cereals coated with sugar for added sweetness. Excessive sugar intake, particularly in the morning, may contribute to insulin resistance over time, hindering the body's ability to regulate blood sugar effectively. High sugar cereals can trigger an inflammatory response in the body, which, when chronic, is associated with insulin resistance and an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. The rapid spike in blood sugar caused by sugary cereals can lead to imbalances in hormones like insulin and glucagon, disrupting the body's usual blood sugar control mechanisms. Regular consumption of high sugar breakfast cereals is linked to an increased risk of metabolic syndrome a cluster of conditions that includes insulin resistance, abdominal obesity, and high blood pressure. Choosing breakfast cereals with lower added sugar content, opting for whole grains, and incorporating protein and healthy fats into morning meals can contribute to better blood sugar control and a reduced risk of type 2 diabetes. Processed snack and baked foods. Processed snacks and baked foods, such as pastries, donuts, cookies, muffins, chips, cheese puffs, and candy bars, contain trans fats, which can contribute to insulin resistance, a key factor in type 2 diabetes development. 
High fructose corn syrups are also commonly found in processed snacks, and these are directly linked to insulin resistance, impaired glucose metabolism, and elevated risk of type 2 diabetes. So it's not just that processed snacks lack fiber content, which is crucial for slowing down sugar absorption and maintaining those sugar levels. In addition, the cooking methods used in processing snacks can lead to the formation of advanced glycation end products, AGEs, associated with insulin resistance and diabetes. Processed foods and baked goods are very high in sodium content that can lead to high blood pressure, increasing the risk of diabetes-related complications. Artificial additives and preservatives that are usually found in processed snacks may disrupt the balance of gut microbiota, potentially influencing metabolic health and diabetes risk. These foods also have the tendency to make us want to eat more, leading to overconsumption and subsequent weight gain, which can lead to a significant risk factor for type 2 diabetes. Choosing whole, minimally processed foods and snacks can support better metabolic health and help reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. Dried fruits. Dried fruits such as raisins, apricots and dates are high in natural sugar and can contribute to an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. The drying process removes water content, concentrating natural sugars into the dried fruits, leading to a more significant intake of sugars in a smaller volume. Some dried fruits, especially those treated with sulfur dioxide as a preservative, may have adverse effects on metabolic health. A recent study demonstrates that higher O3 and SO2 exposure can lead to an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes among 30 to 50-year-olds compared to adults with lesser exposure. Unlike fresh fruits, dried fruit has a majority of its water content removed, making the end result a compact, highly concentrated source of nutrition. Both fresh and dried fruits provide important nutrients that you need in your diet, but comparing them nutritionally is like comparing apples to oranges. For instance, a cup of grapes weighs approximately 92 grams and has 16 grams of carbohydrates. But a cup of raisins, dried grapes, weighs approximately 165 grams and has 130 grams of carbohydrates. When you eat any food, dried fruits included, the sugars or carbohydrates found in the food are broken down and released into your bloodstream as glucose molecules. These molecules help fuel your body and provide energy. When a person without diabetes eats carbohydrates, the pancreas releases the hormone insulin to help transport, store and or use the glucose. A person with diabetes is not able to produce or utilize insulin sufficiently, requiring them to take medication to help manage their blood sugar levels. While there is a place in the diet for dried fruits, it's important to understand how to combine these foods in a balanced diet to help prevent blood sugar spikes. Deep fried products. Deep fried products are typically high in trans fats. Trans fats are generated through a process known as hydrogenation, wherein unsaturated fats undergo a chemical transformation. Typically, food manufacturers employ hydrogenation using high pressure and hydrogen gas to enhance the shelf life and stability of fats. However, this alteration can also occur when oils are subjected to elevated temperatures during cooking. This process induces a change in the chemical structure of fats, rendering them challenging for the body to metabolize, leading to potential adverse health effects. Fried foods containing harmful acrylamide. Acrylamide, a harmful substance, can develop in foods 
when subjected to high temperature cooking methods like frying, roasting, or baking. This formation occurs through a chemical reaction between sugars and an amino acid known as asparagine. Starchy food items, including fried potato products and baked goods, tend to contain elevated concentrations of acrylamide. Choosing cooking methods like baking, grilling, or steaming over deep frying can contribute to better metabolic health and reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. Generally speaking, oils that consist mostly of saturated and monosaturated fats are the more stable when heated. Regular consumption of foods fried in unstable oils can have detrimental health effects. Consistently including them in your diet may elevate the risk of conditions such as diabetes, heart disease and obesity. Hence, it's advisable to either avoid or significantly restrict your intake of commercially fried foods. Processed meats Processed meats often contain nitrate and nitrite preservatives, which can lead to the formation of harmful compounds associated with diabetes risk. Processed meats include a variety of meat products that undergo preservation or cooking methods to extend shelf life or enhance flavor. Processed meats include hot dogs, bacon, sausages, ham, salami, canned meats, pepperoni, corned beefs, and smoked turkey. These contain heme iron, which may contribute to insulin resistance and diabetes development. The cooking and processing methods of meats can generate high amounts of advanced glycation end products, AGEs, implicated in diabetes pathogenesis by promoting oxidative stress and inflammation. A recent study delved into the link between red meat consumption and the heightened risk of developing type 2 diabetes. The findings revealed a robust association between the intake of both processed and unprocessed red meat and an increased likelihood of type 2 diabetes. Similarly, opting for dairy products as a substitute was associated with a 22% lower risk. These findings underscore the potential benefits of making informed dietary choices to mitigate the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Reducing the intake of processed meats and opting for leaner, unprocessed protein sources can contribute to better metabolic health and a reduced risk of type 2 diabetes. White pasta Pastas are made from refined flour, which can quickly raise blood sugar levels and increase the risk of diabetes. White pasta has a high glycemic index, leading to rapid spikes in blood sugar levels upon consumption, which can contribute to insulin resistance over time. Unlike whole grain alternatives, white pasta lacks the beneficial fiber found in the bran and germ of the grain. Fiber plays a crucial role in slowing down digestion and moderating blood sugar levels. As we've said, white pasta is made from refined flour, a process that removes the outer layers of the grain, stripping away essential nutrients and leaving a product that is rapidly converted into glucose. White pasta, being energy dense and lacking satiating fiber, may also contribute to overeating and therefore weight gain, both of which are risk factors for type 2 diabetes. Instead of regular white pasta made from refined grain, look for pasta that is high in fiber and or protein and contains fewer carbs, such as whole wheat pasta, fortified pastas and gluten-free pastas. Whole wheat pasta when cooked al dente, offers a flavor comparable to that of white pasta. Notably, it contains slightly fewer carbohydrates than its regular counterpart. The significant difference lies in the fiber content, with a third of a cup of cooked whole wheat pasta boasting three times the fiber. This elevated fiber content 
positions it as a superior choice for managing blood sugar levels effectively. Fortified or enriched pasta surpasses regular pasta in protein and fiber content while maintaining the same caloric value. These varieties incorporate additional protein sources, like egg whites and lentils, into the flour mix. Moreover, they may introduce barley and oats to enhance fiber content and incorporate flaxseed for the inclusion of beneficial omega-3 fats. Notably, a study conducted in 2021 indicated that increased levels of certain omega-3 fatty acids could potentially decrease the risk of premature death by 13%. Alcohol Excessive alcohol consumption can heighten the risk of developing type 2 diabetes through various mechanisms. Alcohol, when consumed in large quantities, contributes to weight gain, particularly around the abdominal area, which is a known risk factor for diabetes. The impact of alcohol on blood glucose levels can vary, either causing an increase or decrease depending on the quantity consumed. Certain diabetes medications, such as sulfonylureas and meglitinides, work by prompting the pancreas to produce more insulin, thereby lowering blood glucose levels. When alcohol is combined with these medications, it can amplify the blood sugar-lowering effects, potentially resulting in hypoglycemia or insulin shock, a situation that necessitates immediate medical attention. Furthermore, alcohol disrupts the intricate balance of blood sugar levels by impairing the liver's ability to regulate glucose. This interference can lead to fluctuations in blood sugar, potentially increasing the risk of developing diabetes. Alcohol also interferes with the body's insulin sensitivity, making cells less responsive to insulin signals. This insulin resistance is a key factor in the development of type 2 diabetes. Chronic alcohol consumption can induce inflammation in the body, particularly in the liver, further contributing to insulin resistance and diabetes risk. Alcohol's impact on the pancreas is noteworthy, as this organ plays a crucial role in insulin production. Excessive alcohol intake can lead to pancreatitis, an inflammation of the pancreas, which may impair its ability to produce insulin effectively. This disruption in insulin secretion can disrupt the delicate balance of blood sugar regulation, increasing susceptibility to type 2 diabetes. While moderate alcohol consumption may have certain health benefits, excessive and consistent intake can pose significant risks for developing type 2 diabetes. It's crucial for individuals to be mindful of their alcohol consumption and adopt a balanced and healthy lifestyle to mitigate these risks. Our food choices play a pivotal role in diabetes prevention. By being mindful of our diet, opting for whole foods, and moderating our intake of processed and sugary items, we can significantly reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. Incorporating nutrient-rich options, such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, promotes overall health and helps maintain stable blood sugar levels. Making informed choices about carbohydrates, fats, and proteins can contribute to a balanced diet, supporting metabolic well-being. Remember, small changes in dietary habits can lead to significant benefits for long-term health. It's crucial to consult with healthcare professionals for personalized guidance on maintaining a healthy lifestyle and preventing diabetes. By making informed choices about what we eat, we empower ourselves to lead healthier lives. If you found this information valuable, please don't forget to hit the like button, share it with those you care about, and subscribe for more insightful content. Your journey to better health starts with small, sustainable changes in your daily habits. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll delve into more well-being-related topics. 
Thanks for watching, and here's to taking your first steps towards a healthier you.